Now, for this, we have to go back to 2010 with the parliamentary elections that Geert Wilders and the PVV did particularly well in. They decided not to actually go into government, but become part of the coalition with the Christian Democrats and the right-wing party that is currently still in government. Uh, this went well, and it was the first time the PVV actually became part of a coalition in the Netherlands. However, then we arrive in 2012, when due to new EU regulations and EU agreements, a new budget had to be passed to meet these requirements. The parties had to come together and negotiate it for over a month. And almost when an agreement was reached, the PVV pulled out. New elections then had to be held because the government was no longer sustainable. And as a result of that, the PVV is now known in The Hague among parties as an unreliable coalition party. Now the next elections that followed brought the Labour Party and the VVD, the right-wing party, into power together. And they've actually completed the ride of four years. Which brings us to this election, 2017. Currently, the coalition that's happening right now with the PVDA and the VVD is not going to happen again because the PVDA is not doing well in the polls at all, only pulling in at about 12 seats, if you remember. The PVV, on the other hand, is leading with about 28 seats, which means that this could be the election that Geert Wilders becomes the Prime Minister of the Netherlands, and we have another populistic leader in liberal democracies. However, for him to govern, he's going to need a coalition, and all the other major parties have already indicated they do not want to work with him because he is unreliable as a coalition party. So therefore, it could happen that the biggest party in Parliament does not only not become part of the coalition, but also is not even part of the government. And in a world where populism is rising all over liberal democracies, that is interesting.